Hello everyone, Guardian E here with an all new Azure Lane video featuring the brand new Sardinia Empire event, Daedalian Hymn, with the much anticipated Vittorio Veneto. As usual, the video will be broken up into my day one polls, as well as a full review of all of the delicious looking skins that dropped for the pizza boats today, with chapters and timestamps set for your convenience below in the description. Now I'll just mention very quickly that if you do like what we do and are interested in supporting the channel, please just take a second to like, comment, and subscribe because it really, really does help us out a lot and we really, really do appreciate all of you. So with that, let's go ahead and jump into the Raid Up banner. And here we are on the event banner, starting today on the 22nd of April, stretching until the 5th of May, so you have that period of time to pull and summon on this banner. And the raid-up ships are going to be Maestrale, as well as Vittorio Veneto, we have Aquila, as well as Lebeccio, and Nicoloso D'Arecho. Now, uh, Duca Deglia Abruzzi is also available on the banner, but she is not going to be rated up if we take a look at the rates themselves, since she is going to be available for free in the event shop. So you can just grind for her, that's why she is at a 0.5% rate. However, the other two SRs at, are at the standard 2% rate, and the Elites are going to be at the 2.5% rate. As always, before we get started, I do have my daily light constructions that we just want to run through really quickly, see if uh, we get any premonitions, any Akashis to show up that uh, will either spell good fortune or doom on the rest of our polls. There's hate. You know, Hazelwood, we don't see that often. I can't remember if she was just added recently. Um, there's Sheffield, and of course, if we get a Lopiniatre, that would be great, since that is an elite in light construction that I'm missing. We are getting a bunch of elites, so that's kind of nice. Glasgow, Konigsberg. Hey, all right, Kawakaze. That's that's actually pretty. She just dropped into the right into the uh, normal construction pool, so that's that's exciting. Don't need her, but we did get an SR from our daily light constructions. Just going to show how uh, patience and doing your light constructions can yield you some pretty decent stuff, right? All right, so let's get right into it. I will take a moment just to relish the fact that I do have over a thousand cubes. This is the first time that I have grinded over a thousand cubes in the game, so that's exciting. And now it's all going to go away as soon as I do this ten pull. But let's get started. Um, for those of you out there that are new to the channel and are wondering how I have these cubes and coins, um, I will just mention to check out in the description below the uh, the free to play cube saving guide that we put together that shows pretty much the easiest way to, to accumulate and hoard currency and uh, and cubes. Okay, <laughs> uh, we are getting an SR in our first multi. It is unfortunately going to be a Prince of Wales, uh, but I do like Prince of Wales. She's just not, um, not one of our targets today. So, nice to see you. But, uh, yeah. There are a lot of rated up ships too, so if we don't even get one of the elites, that's... That's not a good look. Ooh, what is going on? A lot of blondes in this ten pole, but not what we, not what we we're looking for. Jeez. Um. Okay. Hopefully, not a sign of things to come. Let's go into the next multi. Maybe I shouldn't have bragged at my my thousand wisdom cube count. I don't know. But we're just gonna make up make up for it here. That's all it is. Last one had no event ships. This one's gonna have. Tons of event ships. Yeah? Okay, alright, there we go. There we go. Nicolas with Derecho. Uh, the port's newest arrival, that's a me. Fun size navigator Nicolas with Derecho salutes you, Commander. Andiamo towards uncharted waters. Yeah, so I, one of the new destroyers, one of the new elite destroyers. Full. Let's lock her in. That's one event ship down. And hopefully, we get some more in this multi. I said, hopefully, we get some more in this multi. Hello, is this thing all- Oh, there we go! <laughs> nice! Vittorio Veneto, who is really the, the prize of the banner, at least as far as, uh, as far as I'm concerned. My primary goal, anyway, and I am thrilled to get her. Oh my god, she looks gorgeous. Look at the beautiful art. Look at the majestic backdrop of the, like, cathedral and the- um, or Colosseum, or whatever it is, just the pillars, looks amazing. Um, it's a pleasure to meet you, Commander. I am Vittorio Veneto, eternal flagship of the Sardinia Empire. Forgive me if I sound discourteous, but are you confident in your ability to command me? I will do my best. I will do my best. Alright, um, so let's, let's keep moving along. That's awesome. That's fantastic that we got her. And her, her Live 2D skin, it is... 
it's something else. All right, that's two down. That's excellent. That's excellent. Now, I did mention that Abruzzi is at the 0.5% rate, so if we don't get her today, not going to cry over it. Going to do daily pulls over the course of the event, um, which is the smart way to go about these events anyway, in the hopes of getting her. And then I'll also just, I mean, I'll just get her from the shop. I'm going to grind the event like crazy, so may as well just get her from the shop. No skin off my back. Uh, Alright. Is this going to be, are we going to, is this going to be another dead multi? Or is that how it's going to be? Just one good multi, one dead multi? We're going to we're gonna s switch back and forth like this on me? Oh, okay, there we go. Lebeccio. All right. Nice. So another one of the elite destroyers. That's good. Ciao, the name's Lebeccio. It's a pleasure to meet you, Commander. Let's be real good friends from here on out. Uh, so Lebeccio is the more energetic of the two destroyer twins. Uh, definitely more outgoing. Um, and it's great to see her here. She's, uh, she's ready to go and rear to go. So awesome. Okay, that's pretty great. So far, no dupes either of any of the event ships, although I wouldn't necessarily mind getting a couple of dupes. I have approximately a billion bullens, give or take, so I don't really need to save any. Um, but at the same time, you know, I'm like, okay, another Lebeccio. That is all right. I was just talking about getting dupes, and that is totally okay. Abercrombie as well. Getting some non-event elites. All right. Gotten way too many of you, Oklahoma. There we go. Nice. We're getting Aquila. So the other SR on the banner. That is fantastic. This is going swimmingly, despite that dry multi at the beginning. Good day to you, my commander. I'm Aquila, aircraft carrier from the Sardinia Empire. Our meeting today is no mere coincidence. No, it must be a gift from Fortuna herself. I'm sure of it. She looks glorious and fantastic. Absolutely thrilled to have her here. Super, super excited. That's great. That is great. Lock her in. Yes, please. Gonna get a London. Yeah, I think um, to celebrate the release of this event, I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna get some pasta tonight. I'm gonna rock out with some pasta. Maybe some. Maybe a pizza. Pizza or pasta. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you think I should get. Should I get some pasta or pizza for dinner tonight? Either way, it's gonna be delicious. Fresh, fresh flavors. All right, we're getting that Aquila. That is awesome, and that means we are, at this point, only missing Maestrale. Uh, and she is the shy one of the uh, of the twins, so so maybe that's maybe that's why, I don't know. But uh, I, I'm honestly tempted to just switch to dailies. Um, but no, we don't, we don't do that. We try to sweep. We try to sweep on day one. That's what we do here on this channel. That's what the people expect, and that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. And we're going to immediately regret it, too. A hood, huh. You know, I haven't pulled a hood in a really long time. Uh, although, hood has gotten a new skin in this most recent update. So maybe that's maybe that's why. She's trying to tempt me to get her skin for her. Oh, nice! Another Vittorio Ven Veneto. That is awesome. That is totally amazing. Yes, I will absolutely take those. We'll take those. In spades. Alright. Uh, Portland... Okay, all right. Two SRs and one multi. Not too shabby. Oh, my Strale, where are you? Your sister is waiting for you. Is this, is this how it's going to be? The elusive elite is going to it's going to be the, the the bane of today, the drain on my resources. I also wouldn't mind getting in a Brutzi, so that's also kind of motivating me to go in a little bit harder. I mean, I think that as far as I have some decent cubes, like I said, but I think upcoming events, I mean, I think we're probably due for a UR um, in the short term. Oh my god, what was this multi? Look at that, that is disgusting. Oh god, alright, let's, um, you know what, let's pretend that didn't happen. I'll, I'll go ahead and cut that out of the video so uh, nobody else has to be subjected to that because that was disgusting. Oh no. Oh no, not deja vu. Please not deja vu. No, 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 no. No, no. Okay, there we go. <laughs> My Strale, so she is going to grace us with her presence. The final remaining uh, elite, the final remaining event ship that is rated up. And the final uh, build only event ship. So, My Strale, now lift the rim of your skirt and bow. Ahem, I'm My Strale, destroyer from the Sardinia Empire. Greetings to you and your fleet, Commander. I, I hope I did that right. 
Oh, you did great. You did great. Welcome to the fleet. Welcome to the dock. Uh, and happy to have you. Maybe we can get another event. Okay. <laughs> Oh, uh, she was waiting, uh, and after those words of encouragement, she she was no longer afraid and decided to show up. I'll take that dupe. Take that dupe for limit breaking. Abs okay, you know what? There's a difference between coincidence and trolling. I think we've reached a degree of trolling at this point. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but uh, I'm, I'm getting I'm getting that feeling. I don't know. I don't know. Well, <laughs> that's. That's so silly. All right, two more. Let's go ahead and see them. We could get another Aquila. That would be kind of awesome. We could get a Brutzi. We could get another Vittorio Veneto as well. So that's awesome. She's she's being very, very nice today. And I'm going to be very, very nice right back to her. She looks fantastic. So um, take that Limit Break fodder. Maybe I'll keep an extra one just in case we get another kind of saucy skin down the line that I want to display for, for both of them. I don't know. I don't know. Sky's the limit. But... Um, that is, uh, I think, going to be it. I think that's going to wrap up our pulls for today. That Abruzzi, we unfortunately did not get her. She's not rated up, but I will absolutely grind the event and get her there. I will also do dailies on the event, um, just because, just for, just for kicks. So at this juncture, we are going to jump into my skin review. There were a lot of absolutely incredible, fabulous skins that dropped today. And they definitely want to give them their due. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at them. So because there were so many amazing skins that dropped this time, I actually sprung for the Didalian Hymns Lucky Bag. Uh, looking at the rates, there's actually like an over 50% chance of getting a skin that I would buy anyway. So I figure why not why not support them? Because uh, I really like this update. I really like the ships that they brought and the skins are amazing. So um, we're going to go ahead and collect and whatever ship we, whatever skin we get here, that's I guess how we'll start off the review. So let's collect. Okay, all right. Well, um, we got Mastrali. <laughs> I don't want to sound too downtrodden. Um, Mastrali definitely wasn't one that I was probably going to buy. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. We rolled the dice, and it's a cute skin. So let, let's let's take a quick look here. So here is the Lonesome Beachfarer. Uh, it's way too crowded on the beach. I'd much rather be... Oh, Commander? Are you not good with crowded places either? It features her being very reserved, sitting alone with this cute little straw hat and sand shovel in her hand. Her hair with these red highlights is splayed out to the sides, and there's this uh, really thick black chin strap to the straw hat itself that's just snugly positioned underneath her face, and it's very, very cute. It's overall a very sweet and adorable skin. I think it relates to the seemingly gentle and shy nature of Maestrale herself, which of course is, I think, a deep contrast to uh, her twin. She's a little bit more on the quiet side, whereas if we take a closer look at... Libeccio, on the other hand, has a big grin on her face. She has a sunflower in her hair, again, that I think resembles sort of her more sunny disposition. She's happy, she's outgoing, she's energetic, she's surfing with all of those manju out there. Uh, looks like she has donned a school swimsuit. So not like as gentle as her sister, just kind of slapped on just to make shift in order to get out there and have some fun in the sun and fun in the water. And so I feel like with this beach bound southwestern wind really just shows the contrast between the two. And I think taking a look at the skins in tandem makes a lot of sense because I feel like if somebody is interested in getting one of these skins, they're probably interested in getting both so because th they complement each other so well. This one's bright, fun and sunny and she's giving us a little salute. Oite, the monthly login bonus, is getting a cute summer skin. She's got a sailor-themed uniform. I really do like the sense of movement this skin invokes as she's coming down on that watermelon. The fisheye lens effect really does kind of add some momentum to this swing uh, as she really wants to take it to that watermelon. But overall, I think it's a very cute design. I dig the manju in the back also, just relaxing and rocking a matching sailor cap along with Oite. Very nice. And overall, there's definitely some very vibrant, bright, fun colors here. The lens flare effect from the sun coming down is a nice touch. Nicoloso de Recho to a smashing voyage. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I, I get this almost Eagle Union idol vibes from Nicoloso. I think just because of the energy that she exudes, she's got this cheeky smile, flashing a wink, uh, and she's ready to smash some watermelons on the beach. Uh, just from the baseball bat itself, it has this graffiti motif to it. There's bright colors, lots of energy here in general, and it just looks like a lot of fun. And we also, we get a cameo of one of the other ship girls that's, that's 
a little in distress and buried under the sand there. I think she wants somebody to save her before Nicoloso ends up taking a whack at that watermelon. She has this star adorned in her hair and this sort of seafoam green that her two piece is really does match and complement well the, uh, the bright purple hair that she has with its long braided ponytail. We have Comte de Cavour in fierce beachside battle. I, I mean, this looks hilarious. She's got this baller super soaker that she's using to blast this manju point blank in the back. I, she's just not taking any prisoners, it seems. I do like how super serious she is in this water gun fight. Uh, she even has a popsicle in her mouth that kind of resembles like when you have a, an old hardened soldier on the battlefield that has a cigar in their mouth. Um, that That's kind of the impression that I get from her, uh, except it's a popsicle. Skin itself, it's bright and fun. But at the same time, you don't really get a good view of her swimsuit at all. She's actually really blocking almost everything except for um, the slight frill of a skirt and this cute little bow on her hip. But honestly, I guess that's enough. I mean, the focal point of the skin is certainly the scenario rather than the scenery, and I think it does deliver in that respect. So I think this one has some fun personality. And here we have Torricelli, Shady Seaside. I, I love how this cute little submarine is so gloomy and creepy. Uh, she's just hovering over this sea turtle who looks very, very distressed. But I think she just wants I think she just wants to play with it. I, I don't think she has any ill intentions. There's just a little heart uh, coming off of her, and I think she just she just loves the sea turtle. The cute white straw hat with the red tropical flower really matches her overall demeanor. Again, she's a little shaggy with the hair, and that adds to her overall appeal. The red of the flower matching her eyes as well, that deep crimson, that absolutely hilarious expression on her face. And I feel like the swimsuit design matches her personality a lot too. It's not overly ornate, it's not very showy or anything, but it does have some sheer elements and underneath there are some straps that give, some, give it some uniqueness overall. So I do like this skin, I think it has a lot of personality and it really does kind of capture, I think, Torricelli's personality, which I think is very important. Next, we have Duca Degli Abruzzi in Lustrous Onyx Serenetta. I absolutely love the setting here, and I think that Abruzzi looks amazing. I'm on the fence about getting this one. I really want to. I'll probably buckle in the end. But like I said, love the setting here. It just has this visual impact, this high-class cityscape nightlife in the background. Uh, there's this tinge of almost like danger and refinement. Uh, Abruzzi herself is donning this very slinky, sexy one-piece, and you have lighting coming from below the pool, which just adds another dimension to the art. It brightens and gives her skin this luminescent quality against, again, the backdrop of this busy metropolitan city. Love the Devil Halo, very striking, bright red. The halo even matches the deep crimson of her beautiful eyes. That black, satiny look of her swimsuit is a perfect complement to her fair, lustrous skin, and that plunging neckline is awe-inspiring. She also comes paired with another ship girl, an unnamed ship girl in the back there, which we might learn more about in the event, but regardless, it's kind of two ship girl skins for the price of one, which is not a bad deal. Abruzzi is absolutely rocking this one-piece swimsuit, and she looks spectacular. Now, I've talked about these skins at length already because they were revealed on Japanese live streams a really, really long time ago. Uh, and it makes sense to, I think, review these two skins alongside each other because they really do technically belong to the same fashion collaboration. They're kind of two parts of a whole and they do also, also just complement each other very well. And so we have both Hood and Kaga in these beautiful yukatas in this same sort of traditional pose. Clean lines, crisp, beautiful colors. I feel like the skins themselves do a great job at transporting you to a gentler time. It's been forever since we've gotten a new hood skin, and I feel like that alone certainly piques interest. There are a lot of hood fans out there, uh, and this is a way to kind of satisfy that, that itch that you may have had to get a new outfit for your hood. I think the real star of the skins themselves are really the design of the yukatas. Kagas has clean white composition with this trail of beautiful sakura petal pattern towards the bottom of it, while Hood is, is just darker in nature. It features this very intricate vine and floral pattern at the bottom, and, and both of these skins just, I think, certainly exude grace and tradition. They're very well done in that regard, and I think that they do deliver on that promise. We've seen these skins before, and it's, I'm certainly happy that they have made their way to the English version. Our first non-Lucky Bag acquisition of today is going to be for Julius Caesar, High Tide Under the Sunlight. So let's go ahead and grab this beauty. 
spin those gems. Tired already? For goodness sake, I thought you'd be more reliable than this. Don't go burning all your energy at once. We still have a whole day of recreation ahead of us. Yes, please, Caesar. Yes, please. All right, so here she is. Let's check out some of her voice lines. Trento and Polar are out for you. So you came here to lie low, didn't you? No? I... You know what? The more the merrier. I'll take all three. I do like this bikini, though it doesn't quite match up to Veneto's. You know, I wouldn't sell yourself short, Caesar. I really wouldn't. This is not a playground cavore. Take your water gun fight elsewhere. Gonna have a word with that wannabe commando. Maybe she doesn't have a headpad voice line. We can check the archives just to see. Here's her special touch. Surely you know what consequences await you for doing that. Yeah, I am I'm prepared to pay the price. I guess she doesn't have a headpad animation yet. That's a little unfortunate. Maybe they'll add one in later. But certainly let's take a closer look at Caesar herself. Caesar looks like she just came back in from the pool and is lounging on this poolside sofa. The glossy sheen of this sleek and sexy swimsuit just emphasizes the tight curves of her body. I mean, Caesar has always been on the sportier side of things, and that that intricate just cradle of thin straps beneath the top just grip and strain against the, the dips and arches of her toned figure. Uh, she's rocking some strappy heels to match her swimsuit as well, very fashionable. And, I mean, the texture of the swimsuit itself, it's just really eye-catching, creates this wonderful contrast with the soft smoothness of her skin, still glistening slightly from just coming out of the pool. Her hair in that ponytail just slightly tousled as well, wet from her dip. The moisture has apparently spread all over the couch, needs to be mopped up by that little manju down there. The skin just features some beautiful shading on her torso and her legs. She's lifting up that skirt teasingly, right in line with this, this overwhelming and overbounding confidence and sultriness that she's exuding. Caesar is just very hard to resist here, and there's very little reason to resist her. Uh, she looks fantastic, and despite her not being live 2D, which is lamentable, this one is definitely a knockout. And next I am going to be grabbing this Aquila, Sardinian Shallows, and Sunshine. There we go. Good day, my commander. We have the day off to enjoy the sea breeze and the ocean waves. <laughs> would you like to help yourself to some fruit? Yes, I absolutely would. Looks very refreshing. Nice of you to offer. See some of her voice lines. My commander, would you like some fruit? Oh, and her expression changes into this really wholesome open smile. I like that. Graf Zeppelin, huh? I don't think we have much in common after all. Oh, uh, that, that's kind of alluding to, the, I think, the fact that they were um, both like makeshift carriers that didn't actually get finished, I think. I'm sorry, I'm not a history buff, so I'm not entirely sure about that. But they have some similarities. Um, I'd like to fly my planes around, but no, I've got to practice some self-restraint. Oh, and she, she's like pouting a little bit. Such a cute expression. A swimsuit contest? My, my, that sounds like one of Latorio's concoctions. Don't worry, I'm not interested in entering. I think you I think you got a pretty decent shot here, Aquila. You may want to may wanna try your luck. Uh, and then we'll end it off with a little special touch. My commander, after we get back, I'll need to lecture you on how to treat a signorina. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll take your lessons in stride. She looks fantastic. I, I really like this overhead perspective. Aquila herself is fending off the sunshine with this beautiful wide-brimmed hat. She just looks very poised and graceful. She oozes this air of sophistication, and she has this gentle smile, just very cute expression, and it's very warm and inviting. The swimsuit itself, surprisingly bold. That thin and narrow fabric is just strained against her decadent and supple curves. Swimsuit bottoms are high cut, sitting high on her wide hips and right next to her narrow waist. Love the consistency with her default outfit, it just mirrors that elegant black and white color palette that she has there, which gives her this overall just pristine look, uh, including that thigh wrap that features the insignia, uh, that string of beads or pearls that's running down her ample cleavage. Her full volume silver hair is just wrapped up into this, this giant braided ponytail that's swooped up behind her, and she's enjoying, just reclining and enjoying this, this assortment of fruits, and, and maybe it's some mochi or something right there on the seaside. Uh, she has some luxurious pillows on that chair, so you know that she's all in for the relaxation aspect of this, of this sunny retreat. They did such, such an amazing job on this one. It looks fantastic. All right, finally, the creme de la creme of the batch, the live 2D skins. Let's first grab a Pola Seaside Coincidence. Yes, please. 
Okay, we're recording, and that volley is coming in hot. And that's hot, too. How she tugs on it. Oh, she's wagging her finger. Oh, my God, Pola. You're killing me. That is absurd. She looks too good. Too good. <laughs> Zara, how dastardly of you to spike the ball at such a time. Eek, Commander, why are you in a place like that? Uh, right place at the right time. That's all I can say. <laughs> oh, my God. She looks so good. Zara's in the back a little confused. All right, here she is. Let's let's tap. Uh, let's give her a head pat first. Oh, that's so cute. So the <laughs> when you tap her, the sunglasses, the shades kind of fall down onto her face, and so she just like scoots them back up. That's adorable. She also does like a little wiggle as she's doing it, which of course naturally uh, extends to the rest of her body. Let's see some of her quotes. Isn't the swimsuit a bit too tiny? <laughs> no, I think that's the perfect size for you. Right, we can tap the ball, see if that does anything. Latorio, how about a 2v2? Having Veneto on your team would be too much of a handicap. Oh, she flips up the, uh, the starfish, huh? Oh, that's so funny. So she actually removes the starfish, starfish from her backside and flips it up, but then another starfish just kind of, like, comes right up <laughs> and, uh, and takes its place. You'll see, like, she, she grabs it off there. It leaves a little mark. I guess it was grabbing a little bit too hard, uh, and then, uh, I can't blame it, and then the next starfish comes up behind. This obstinate starfish! Commander, give me a hand here. <laughs> that starfish is, uh, living the dream. But I wouldn't mind giving her a hand, that's for sure. <laughs> Animation is awesome. So good. Uh, if I click on Zara, does that do anything? Let's see. No, it doesn't really seem like it. I don't want to miss showcasing any animation, so we're going to go in the archive and just go through some of these. So log in. <laughs> oh my god. I do say, if you want to watch the game from over there, don't come crying to me when you get hit by the stray ball, got it? That is that is a price worth paying for the view. Let's try the normal touch. What are you staring at? Oh, that's when she tugs on the bottoms. Wow. Uh, spit it out already. And she does a little pose, too. Just what were you thinking about? Right, let's try the normal touch. What are you staring at? Ooh, that's where she does a little tug on the bottoms. Spit it out already, just what were you thinking about? We'll try the special touch. Uh, jeez, Commander, I know you're the impatient type. Oh, we get hit by the starfish. Are you sure you want to suffer the same fate as this manju? Oh, and she's like pointing at the little manju over there. I guess the manju got a little a little fresh with her too, I don't know. Uh, you gotta stay motivated and finish your work. Oh, she gives us a little wave? Or were you expecting to <laughs> need to give you some motivation? She's being very cheeky in this skin. Um, Pun intended, but she's being very cheeky. Uh, all done with the mission, huh? That's what I want to see. I haven't forgotten about the reward. Mind waiting there a bit? And you get, like, Zara contributing a little bit, too. As she pulls down the shades. Nice. See the mail reminder? Oh, the seagull comes in and drops it in. Might miss some of your information if you drag your feet. God, her expression is great. Return to port. Commander, don't expect me to save you uh, your life even if you're drowning. Oh, Zara already taught you how to swim? Lucky you. Yeah, lifeguard Zara. Uh, always a, uh, well, a lifesaver, I guess. Yeah, this skin is awesome. I love it. And taking a closer look, I mean, Pola is an absolute bombshell. And this skin just shows off her assets perfectly. She has these purple aviator shades that match her vibrant violet hair. She's playing beach volleyball, apparently, with her sister Zara way out there. Um, it looks like she may have lost this particular volley based upon the placement of the ball itself. And from this perspective, you have the light just dancing off of her glistening skin. These rivulets of water just running down this visual feast that is the contours and swells of her incredible first-class figure. Her skin shining from the moisture creates this very sensual glow. Her leggings are translucent from the water, and they're just hugging and squeezing her generous thighs. And that yellow bikini with that little manju logo is very, very cute, but it is also very, very clearly a few sizes too small. The top, barely present. The fabric of the bottoms just sinking into her soft, smooth skin. Uh, the bikini is pretty obviously struggling to contain her spectacular proportions, allowing us to indulge in the ripe curves of her body. And we're blessed with this genuine oasis of a rear view. Her backside is certainly the focal point of the skin, and is indisputably perky and sublime. Uh, there are these vibrant, beautiful, bright, summery colors throughout the entire piece. It's just gorgeous, just as a work of art. Like I said, you can see Zara back there wearing her own signature swimsuit as well. And 
for those of you, I mean, I, we showcased it earlier, while Zara provides the front view in her live 2D, Pola is definitely bringing the back. So the sisters have all bases covered together. I only lament that we can't display them both somehow at the same time. As of course we can see, the skin also features some very, very lucky starfish grabbing a handful of Pola. Uh, well, I guess it's not a handful, is it a... It's a body full, I guess. They don't really have hands, but but their presence adds a nice, fun playfulness to the skin as a whole. And yeah, I just, I love it. I think this skin is an absolute winner. And finally, we have the arguable star of the show, Vittorio Veneto with The Flower of La Spezia. Let's grab this. Really beautiful, one flower petal. Oh, they're enjoying some ice cold cola. Wow, she's like running her finger. You can see that she's kind of digging into her skin a little bit. Oh, it's so amazing. Oh, it's just stunning, absolutely stunning. Um, ha, huh. <laughs> it's awfully sunny today. How long was I asleep, Commander? Oh, it's already lunchtime? In that case, I'll get started on some food. Would you like something as well? Yes, pasta or pizza. Depending on what everybody commented down below, we're gonna have some pasta or pizza from Vittorio Veneto. Let's check some of her voice lines. Vittorio said, I am terrible at photography and now she prohibits me from using the camera. Well, I've never heard of something so rude before. Commander, would you ask her to let me take a picture? Okay. I, unfortunately, the text is blocking her. I don't want <laughs> get that out of there. I wanna see her, hold on. Just for the time being, I'm gonna put her a little high so we don't miss any of the animations. Are you going fishing, Commander? I see, then if you don't mind, I'll take my leave for a while. I'd like to finish building my sand coliseum. Oh, she's very ambitious. Please do come and spectate our beach volleyball game later in the evening, Commander. If luck is on our side, you may get to see us go up against the Royal Navy. Ah, yes, they are They are very competitive. I like that she's kind of like squirming on her back a little bit. I don't know, it adds a lot of, a lot of dimension and personality to it. Uh, only when you take the time to recline can you truly take in the beauty of the vast blue sea. One day, we will have finally reclaimed it in its entirety, won't we, Commander? Oh, she has like a little sheepish look and she puts her finger to her lips. Oh, that's so nice. That's great. And she kind of runs her fingers through her hair too. Love it, love it. Again, I don't want to miss any animations. So we're going into the archive. This is the login. Basking in the sunlight, feeling the sea breeze, and listening to the sound of the waves. Oh, it's wonderful to have a relaxing day off. She's got the shades on. She kicks them off uh, as soon as we show up here. We'll do a little special touch action. Commander, I'm still awake for your information. Uh, she looks pretty embarrassed, but also just super cute. Adorable, she's got a blush on her face. Very nice. I just I just wish the text box wasn't in the way for a bunch of these. It's a little annoying. Uh, do the rub. Oh, aw. Oh, she's kind of gripping her belly a little bit and crying about it. Is she seriously like indicating that she's upset with her with her figure? Because that's complete absurdity, of course. She's like perfection. I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, she's like grabbing a little bit of her of her f the flesh off of her belly. I guess <laughs> too cute. Well, I'm gonna give you a reminder, Commander. You're in your right to delegate missions to me, your secretary. Oh, so this is the animation where she kind of draws her finger across or under her arm a little bit. Uh, you get the skin dentation. It's it's really nice. There's a lot of detail there. Mission complete. I think I know what you're thinking, Commander. These missions are a cakewalk. <laughs> really nice. Uh, mail reminder? May I offer a bit of advice? Choose your friends carefully. Oh, where'd she pull that envelope out of? It's like a magic trick. Commission complete? Were my tortellini to your taste, I must make more to give to the returning commission team, you see. She made us tortellini, so maybe that's what I'm gonna get for dinner today. We're gonna go for, to go for some, some of uh, Veneto's tortellini. Return to port? Would you care to sunbathe with me? It's delightfully pleasant, I assure you. Yes, please. So let's take a closer look at Vittorio Veneto, the flower of La Spezia. I mean, Vittorio has slipped into this bold and daring swimsuit and dropped into this rather inviting pose. She's reclined on this speedboat, catching some rays with that brilliantly blue tropical sea behind her. Bright sunshine is just cascading down to highlight all of her immaculate, silky curves on display. Love the provocative, lacy design of the swimsuit. The top is certainly doing its best to provide that support, but clearly was not designed to handle that bountiful volume. 
There's this eye-catching central strap connecting the top and the bottom, running down her slender torso, and how she's reclined gives us this very, very nice view down the length of her body line, straight through to her luscious legs. And while she looks just so soft and smooth in this art, she also has this piercing gaze with those alluring and captivating eyes. Uh, she also has a cute ponytail with her lengthy hair and curls just kind of uh, splayed out underneath her. There's also this really cute oversized bow that cinches it all together. And she's just an absolute stunner. I mean, she's rocking those stunner shades. She's soaking in the sun, cooling off with some delicious cola, a refreshing cola on the speedboat just sounds like the perfect way to spend a day. And we should be so blessed to spend it with Vittorio Veneto. She is jaw-droppingly gorgeous in this skin, and without a doubt, I think this skin is worth the gems as well. Both of the live 2Ds, I think, deliver on all fronts. They really, really bring it and knock it out of the park. Yeah, I just wish I had the option to move this text box, like, I don't know, maybe like over to the, to the chat so it blocks that instead. Like, why would I ever block this gorgeous vision in front of me? Like, right? Why Why would I ever block her? I don't know. Anyway, so I think that is going to wrap up our day one video, pulls and skin review for the Didalian Hymn, the all-new Sardinia Empire event in Azure Lane. Uh, hopefully you all got everything that you were looking for, all the ship girls that you needed and dupes that you needed in your first 10 pull. Uh, wish you the best of luck on your on your summons and your builds. Let me know in the comments below how you did, and let me know in the comments below if you decide to splurge for any of these skins. Um, I've given my personal impression. I'm really happy with this batch. I think I think it's there's some real knockouts here. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to leave us a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more Azure Lane content. We thank you all so much for watching and for taking time out of your day to spend with us. We really do appreciate it. Certainly hoping you are all staying safe, healthy, secure, and united out there and wishing the very, very best for you, your family, and your friends. And until next time, let's protect those waters.